Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And uh, with the release of the new Jailbreak last week, Jailbreak Me 3.0, I know a lot of you guys out there have been jailbreaking your iDevices, and since then a new tweak has come out called Swipe. Now if you're familiar with the Android operating system at all, you know they can uh, use a feature called Swipe, which basically allows them to type on the keyboard without actually having to hit each individual letter like you have to in iOS. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this feature for you. So let me go ahead and uh, open up the messaging app here. So normally in iOS, if I want to type myself a text message, I would have to press each key individually, like that, to say hi. But with swipe, you can simply swipe between the letters. So I can go from H to I, and it types it. Let's try a longer word. Let's try hello this time. So H-E-L-L-O. So it basically it has a blue line to kind of guide you between the letters, and it works pretty well. This is only the second version of this uh, new swipe tweak that has become available in City in the last couple of days, and it's working pretty well. There are a couple bugs, I would say, but if it continues to get updates as quickly as it has so far, it's going to turn out to be a pretty good tweak. So let's try, uh, let's type application, A-P-P-L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. So it works pretty well. I mean, if you get better at typing with this method, it is definitely a lot faster than hitting each letter individually like so. So this tweak works with all the default applications currently on the iPhone or your iOS device. So basically it'll work in Notes, it'll work in like Safari and Mail and all those other uh, great applications. So if you want to get this, you're simply going to have to jailbreak your device, go into Cydia, and there's a source that you're going to have to add in order to get this application. I will provide a link uh, for that in the description. But all you simply have to do is go ahead and download something called a Swipe. Let me go and show you it in my packages. Just wait for it to reload data here. Scroll down a little bit more. Let's see, where is it? Swipe. So that's what it's called. It's called Swipe. And uh, I will provide a link for the source here, but let me go ahead and just show it to you. It is the w uh, WYND repo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I will provide a link in the description for that for you. So just simply add that source and then go ahead and search for Swipe and you'll be able to download it. So please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this feature. I think it's pretty cool and as it continues to get updated, I think it'll become a lot better in the future. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, I will be heading to camp this week, so I will not have a video posted until Thursday. So if an iOS 5 Beta 3 comes out um, before then, unfortunately I won't be able to do a video on it until Thursday, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Also, if Lions release that day, I, ho I hope to be able to do a video. I should be back on Thursday, but uh, we'll see when it comes out on that day, and uh, hopefully I can get you guys a video up for those uh, two things. So please leave a comment below. Once again, let me know what you think about this feature. Please like the video and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.